the solution of uh, structure of sodium chloride by Bragg led to an interesting scientific controversy regarding the existence of sodium chloride molecule. So, today we will discuss some aspect of that controversy, what was the question and what was the controversy. So, William Lawrence Bragg, this is the son Bragg, in 1913 solved the structure of uh, many uh, crystals including sodium chloride and published his result in proceedings of Royal Society, the structure of some crystals as indicated by their diffraction of X-rays. He got the Nobel Prize for solving crystal structures using this newly discovered X-ray diffraction tool and he shared this Nobel Prize with his father, Hen William Henry Bragg. He was, he was and I think he still is the youngest uh, Nobel Prize winner in science. When he got the Nobel Prize, he was only 25 years old and this is the only Nobel Prize which has been shared by a father and son. So, what is this structure of sodium chloride? So, let me show you a model of uh, sodium chloride structure. So, this is this is a three dimensional model. You can see that top face of the unit cell, the black ones representing chloride and the white ones as sodium. maybe it is uh, probably better to see the drawing unless and until you are handling the model yourself. So, seeing it in video is not does not appear to be of much help, but you can see that in this structure as we discussed uh, in the last video also, the chloride ions are sitting at the corners and face centers of a cube and the sodium ions are sitting in the so called octahedral void locations which are at the middle of the edges and at the center of the cube. Now, in this structure each sodium, each sodium is nearest to 6 chlorine ions. So, for example, the central one, the 6 chloride ions which are nearest to the central sodium, this, this particular one, central means the one which is sitting in the body centered one. So, the front face, the back face, left face, right face and top and bottom faces. So, these 6 chloride ions are equidistant and are nearest to this sodium. So, when we talk of sodium chloride molecule, the question is we think of that uh, sodium giving an electron to chlorine, sodium becoming a positive ion and chlorine becoming a negative ion and forming a bond and a molecule. But since 6 chloride are equidistant to it, with which chlorine it will form the bond? So, where is, where is the sodium chloride molecule in this structure? That is the question. Is this, this sodium paired with this chlorine and forming a sodium chloride molecule or it is paired with this chlorine and is forming a molecule. So, this was an important question which was raised once the structure was solved. Let us look at uh, Bragg's comment on this, what does the discoverer of this structure or the solver of this structure thought about it. So, in 1927 while writing an article on a structure of silicates in nature, he makes a comment on his earlier solution of sodium chloride. So, let us look at that. Some of the very earliest structures which were analyzed caused us to revise the ideas of what, me what was meant by molecule of the chemist. And then he goes on to state, in sodium chloride there appears to be no molecule. Let me uh, underline this. In sodium chloride, there appears to be no molecules represented by NaCl because 6 chlorine are all 
equidistant to sodium. So, it cannot be forming a molecule with just one of them. The equality in number of sodium and chlorine atoms is arrived at by a chessboard pattern that is alternating sodium and chlorine as you saw in the structure of these atoms. It is a result of geometry and not a pairing off of the atoms. So, there is no pairing of sodium and chlorine atoms to form a sodium chloride molecule. This is what Bragg stated in 1927, 14 years after his solution of the structure because he solved the structure in 1913. So, 14 years after he is making this statement again in his 1927 paper. In 1915, he has already got Nobel Prize. So, he is, he is a Nobel laureate by 12 years now and he is making this statement in, in this very famous journal Nature. So, one would think that over this period after the discovery and after this uh, period of uh, um, thinking and analyzing things would have been solved and this would have been an accepted and well known fact. But no, this was not the case. Many chemists were um, doubtful about Bragg's solution of a structure and they were questioning uh, this new tool and they were thinking that x-ray technique is a new tool and physicists are using it, they do not know much chemistry and maybe they are getting it all wrong. One of the persons, one of the famous chemists who was of this view was H. E. Armstrong and in the same year 1927 Bragg made this comment in his paper and in the same year he wrote in the same journal an article or a letter rather titled Poor Common Salt. The title of the article was poor common salt. And essentially he was criticizing and he severely criticized Bragg's idea with the statements like repugnant to common sense. He said that non-existence of sodium chloride molecule which Bragg is proposing is repugnant to common sense because chemists were so familiar and so happy with the sodium chloride molecule. He said it is absurd to nth degree. He went on, chemistry is neither chess nor geometry. Remember Bragg was saying that atoms are arranged like a chessboard pattern and the equality of sodium and chlorine NAC in this NaCl is a geometrical result rather than a sodium chloride chemical bond. So, chemistry is neither chess nor geometry and he finally goes on to advise young chemist that if it were time that chemist took charge of chemistry, he thought that the physicists are spoiling chemistry. So, uh, it were time that chemist took charge of chemistry once more and protected neophytes against the worship of false god. So, Armstrong appears to be quite headstrong as well. Uh, of course, history has given verdict in the favor of Bragg and we now all believe that sodium chloride structure solved by Bragg is the right one. Armstrong of course, wrote it very, very severely, but then there were other chemists. There were other chemists who did not use this kind of language, but they still felt that probably Bragg is making a mistake in the solution of the structure and maybe if he looks at the data and solves the structure correctly, then he will, mm, uh, he will get it uh, right by because maybe one of the six chlorine will be closer to the sodium. So, they asked him that please look at your data, revise uh, your uh, um, study and see if one chlorine, one out of those six chlorine is actually nearer to sodium rather than uh, away so that the sodium chloride molecule survives. 